got a uh, Galaxy S8 and I'm going to show you guys this phone. Um, I'm just going to go through the whole process. As you guys see this is cracked down here in the bottom right and there's a couple of cracks that go up like that. But this is the way I take out or uh, this is the way I clean the glue. So that then this goes in the freezer. You guys see go right here going straight to the freezer there you go right in there you see that okay so it's been a few minutes now so I'm gonna see how it looks yep that looks good to go so we're gonna take this. We're gonna go straight over there. You see, look, it's smoking. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna show you guys taking this out. Remember, same cracks in the bottom right. Check that out. Literally the freaking glass falls off like butter, okay? So, look at that. That doesn't look too hard, right? Done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thaw out and it's gonna take like what I do is I, I let it sit for about 10 minutes. I let it thaw out on its own. That thing is freaking cold. You don't blow heat on it. You don't get a heat thing or anything. Just let it sit there for like 10 minutes. Let it thaw out on its own. So when I let it thaw out, I'm going to plug this back in with the battery on the back side of this. And uh, we're going to turn it on. I don't know, this is just a little something that I watch as I'm waiting for that. I've seen this car on like Instagram everywhere and it's these guys right here. This is one of my favorite YouTube channels. They do like car uh, customization, it's called RDB, look. RDBLA, it's a cool channel. But yeah, let's wait for this. Uh... All right. I think this is thought out enough to show you guys. So we're gonna check it out now. Turn it on. That. There we go. See it light on. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this glass off. See? Perfect display. Perfect display. See, everything is good. I'm going to throw this glass away. I don't need it anymore. Okay. So, what I have here is a glue cleaning mold. This thing right here is metal. Solid metal. So, what I do is I grab this frame with the screen and I place it right in here. You see how this matches right here see this kind of like rubberish spot you see how it looks from the side see how it kind of it's a little bit higher what this is for it's for this square thing and this rectangle thing so for those of you guys that say things about um like the waves and all that this thing takes care of that so if you place it in there so since this thing is um, made out of metal, so you place that in there. So what I do next is 
get this camera. I get this hot plate and I place it right here. This thing is already hot. And since of course this is metal, the heat from this plate is gonna transfer. I already feel this starting to get warm. It transfers through that and then the heat will go to the screen, which will make this thing softer. So I'm gonna let this get up to temperature and then um, I'm gonna show you what this does right here. I have a cleaning mold that fits the different phones. So for instance, the S8 has one, the S8 Plus has one, the S9 has one, the Note 8 has one. But yeah, see, I could already feel it starting to get warm. Okay, so before I begin, one thing I wanted to show you guys, you see how this moves? See those little holes right there? When you touch this, it suctions. Now it doesn't move. See, it's stuck and it doesn't move. See, it doesn't move. All right, so I'm ready. I got my little trash can right there because the glue, I'm gonna grab the glue and just throw it in the trash. Okay, so how this thing works is this has this little like on and off switch right here. Can you hear that? This thing spins like super fast. And the further you push it like this, the faster it goes. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. That whole side is the glue is all gone already. This thing, sometimes it, the little rod breaks, but that's okay. All right, so I fixed that. So I mean that's pretty much that's pretty much how you just clean the glue. Sometimes it's a little tricky when you're first starting out, but you'll you'll get the hang of it after you do it a couple of times. You can kind of go back and forth like this. But as soon as the glue kind of gunks up like this, because it's still warm, it's comes off the rod easy. That seems to be everything. So then basically what you do is whatever's left, you just grab alcohol on a, on a rag and just clean it like this. So, all right, so um, I'm gonna plug this in and show you guys how it looks. And for those that are looking, where are the waves? That's what this cleaning mold does. So we're gonna let this kind of cool off a little bit 
and then um, you know plug it in so what I mean by waves is you see this like battery area right here and then the square thing right here so you would see like an indentation in here and up here if you didn't use the cleaning mold use a cleaning mold you don't have to worry about that stuff all right so let's plug this in now okay so we got the screen plug the battery in and then we're gonna turn it on bam let it sit right here There you go. Nothing happened to the screen. Screen works perfectly. No display damage whatsoever. Okay. That's how you take the glue off. And um, I mean, that's pretty much what it what it is. So alcohol, got it at CVS, get on a rag. You just clean up the remainder of it. And that's how it looks and then also as you guys notice I took the uh, the black tape that goes up here I peeled that off there and I peeled that off there so I have uh, tape pre-cut adhesive let me show you okay so I have this pre-cut adhesive that I use which every phone has it that goes there and that goes there so basically that goes there and then the bottom one goes down there. Okay, so before I go, because um, I know I'm gonna have questions about this. After you clean up with a rag or whatever, get the rest of this stuff off, it comes time to get a new glass and glue it back onto this. So there's two ways to do it. I know how to do both ways. There's the loca way, and then there's the oka way. Loca is liquid optically clear adhesive. Oka is optically clear adhesive. So I want to do a video kind of showing what the difference is. Loca versus Oka sheets. Okay, so I hope this video helped a lot of you guys out. I got a lot of requests for actually for this video. So um, I'll make the Loca versus Oka video uh, real soon. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.